Okay, so this video is gonna review um, the structures of the neuron based off of the model. Um, this entire region right here, this is going to be the soma or the cell body of the neuron. Um, we can see a couple of different structures, but I'm gonna start with the axon terminals. So each one of these tan structures right here does represent an axon terminal. We cannot see the rest of the neuron um, that's extending out. They basically cut uh, the axon right here, so we can just see the synapse with the, um, the cell body here. So depending on where the axon terminal, so each one of the larger ends of these cut axons represents an axon terminal, where they synapse has a specific name. There's three that you need to be aware of. So if we're talking about an axon synapsing with a dendrite, as in this case, we can see an axon terminal synapsing with one of the dendrites off of this particular neuron. That's called axodendritic. Um, over here, we can see another axon, and it's not on a dendrite, it's actually on the cell body, which is also called the soma of, an, of a neuron. So this one is called axosomatic for soma cell body. The third one, and we only have one good representative on this model, is gonna be axoaxonal. And if you look right here, this is an axon terminal and it's synapsing on the axon hillock, this region that's connecting to the axon itself. So this one is called axoaxonal uh, when we talk about a synapse. Other structures for the cell body, the basic one is going to be the cell membrane of a neuron, which is called the neurolemma. This clear part um, is representative of the, the neurolemma or the plasma membrane of a neuron. If we look inside, we can see some other structures. Get it oriented right. So this giant clear thing in the center that looks kind of like a golf ball, this is your nucleus. Inside of there, you might be able to see two smaller dark purple structures. Those are your nucleoli. This piece right here that's red, it kind of looks like a piece of coral. This is gonna be your Golgi apparatus. We also have these little yellow balls and those are gonna be your lysosomes. Um, the elongated red structures, we can see a couple of them throughout. Those are gonna be your mitochondria. We also can see some endoplasmic reticulum. Over here, this one would be your smooth endoplasmic reticulum because we do not see it studded with any ribosomes. Um, however, the rest of the endoplasmic reticulum shown on this model, we do see these little red balls um, which represent ribosomes, so this would be a rough endoplasmic reticulum. Because of a stain that was used on a neuron, um, I believed it was developed by or performed by somebody named Niesel, they call these little ribosomes or these um, red staining structures Niesel bodies in a neuron. So we already kind of talked about um, that this portion right here that extends from the soma or the cell body into the axon, this is your axon hillock region. And then if we actually take a look at the axon itself, we can see some more mitochondria. So all of these red ovals right here, those are representative of mitochondria. This right here, this is gonna be your myelin sheath. In this case, I can see two complete myelin sheaths right here. Where they connect, and we have this little indentation, this is your gap. So this is also called the node of Rambier other structures. Um, we talked about the neurolemma, the plasma membrane of the neuron. However, down here, we can also see our, let me make sure I have the correct word, endoneurium right here. So this gray part represents that. And I think that's it for uh, the neuron cell model.